What is God really like? Part nine. Hey everybody, my name is Amy Brown and welcome back to Rooted in the Word. And so today we are on part nine of a series talking about the attributes and characteristics of God. And today we're talking about how God is omnipotent. You know, God, he is all powerful. There is absolutely nothing in the world that God can't do. Nothing is beyond his power. Matthew 19, 26 says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I just, I love that. And so our creator and the sustainer of the universe has infinite power and all power belongs to him. You know, Genesis 18, 14 says, is anything too hard for the Lord? Of course not. You know, God, God has control over all things. He cares about all things. Nothing is too big. Nothing is too small for us to bring to God in prayer. And since God never changes, his power actually, it never increases or decreases. We may not always perceive his power, but it's always at work. He's always working it in our lives and in the entire universe. God, he never tires. He never rests. He never needs to take a break. And then for those of us who didn't have the best earthly father, you know, sometimes it can be hard for us to understand this, but it's the father's job. It's the father's job to protect his children and to our heavenly father. He's never going to let us down. He's always fighting for us. He's always holding us. He's always caring for us and he's always loving us. And God, he gave us the gift of a limited amount of strength, right? He gave us the strength so that we could do good. We could overcome sin. We could protect the weak. We could do the work of the kingdom. But too often we see people using the power that they've been given for evil. And so we need to make sure that we don't view our strength as a product. We, don't, we make sure that we view our strength as a product of our obedience to God, right? We don't view it as like we earned it or we deserve it. But remember that it is a gift from God. We need to make sure that we use our strength to not to serve ourselves, but rather to serve God and others. And so when Jesus, Jesus came to the earth, he was fully God and he was fully man all the same time, hundred percent God, hundred percent man. But God, but Jesus, he chose to submit these divine attributes that he had, right? And so he was walking around earth as a spirit filled man, even while he was hundred percent God. So, so God, Jesus, he chose to fully and completely put his trust in the father. And if Jesus did this, who is our perfect example, that's how we should live, right? As spirit-filled believers. And so the amazing news is that the all-powerful Holy Spirit can actually live inside of us if we commit our lives to Jesus. And he will use his great power to accomplish his purpose through us if we allow him. Ephesians 3, 16 through 21 says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide, how long and how high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within him, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. And so his power, his power is working to help us overcome sin. It shines in our weakness and in our strength. And so we're all called to be strong in the Lord. So my prayer is that you all go out this week and be strong in the Lord. Take care. Bye.